I'm Chuck Weed, and I'm running for District 2, representing Keene for the County Commission. Let me uh, explain a little bit about myself to those of people who don't know me. Uh, I've been in and around Keene for about 44 years, uh, raised five kids here, and they all went through the public school system. Uh, I'm married to a wonderful woman by the name of April, and we've been married for 38 years, uh, and uh, um, have 11 grandkids. Uh, scattered around the country. A couple of them are close, one in Vermont and one in uh, northern New Hampshire where they teach school or run travel services. Uh, I was a political science professor at Keene State College for 40 years, I retired in 2012, uh, ran for the House of Representatives, the New Hampshire House of Representatives in 2000 and served for 14 years. I was on the Transportation Committee, the Election Committee, uh, and uh, certainly enjoyed my service up there, but I'm enjoying much more uh, being a county commissioner here in Keene, largely because I think the people really care about what they're doing. There's very little ideological conflict. Most of, us, most of what we do is problem solving. Uh, so it's a really great place to uh, serve the public. Um, I should say uh, a little bit about some of my interests. Um, as well, uh, I have, um, um, well, and I'll talk about the issues, uh, the issues that I've uh, seen in the last couple of years and some of those which I hope to get to in the next few years. Um, I, I've been, I have oversight and monitoring responsibilities for both the jail, uh, the Department of Corrections, and Maplewood Nursing Home, as well as uh, the county employees, including collective bargaining. Um, in the first two years of my service, uh, the major issues were the uh, pipeline, uh, which was going to go through about six towns uh, in Cheshire County. And one of my goals prior to being elected and um, found it worked very well uh, in that particular operation was to increase the communication between affected communica communities uh, within the county. Of course, you're probably aware uh, the pipeline uh, proposal was abandoned. Uh, I was opposed to it from the beginning, but I took uh, the role of increasing communication rather than uh, being an advocate uh, as, as a county commissioner. Uh, in addition to that, um, we're, we're still working. Uh, it's been a long process on trying to decide whether to refurbish Maplewood Nursing Home or, or to move it. Uh, I'm in favor of moving it. Um, uh, it's been an important issue. There have been public hearings uh, throughout the county. Uh, I believe that we're within a month and a half, maybe, of a uh, decision uh, by the delegation about uh, their preferences. And of course, once they make a preference, it'll be up to the commissioners to decide whether or not um, it will serve the interests of the elders in this community, both in terms of safety, uh, in terms of comfort, and in terms of quality of life. Uh, which is really important to us. Uh, but that's still a, a very big issue, uh, and it's a relatively costly issue. As uh, most of you are probably aware, 60% uh, of the revenues for government service in the state of New Hampshire uh, come from uh, property taxes. And what I've noticed as commissioner is that the state is very, very inclined to cost shift downward to local taxpayers. I'm, very upset with that. Uh, as a legislator, I tried to get a fair tax structure and tried to avoid or tried to prevent that kind of cost shifting, but it still goes on in a big way. Uh, and we've got to do something about it. Uh, I would hope the taxpayers begin to speak out about the unfair taxation and the uh, uh, unprogressive uh, tax structure. Let me say that I, you know, what we need to do uh, in, in Keene and I hope to do in the next couple of years is to uh, get very much involved in transportation. Um, that's a huge problem, I think, in terms of people getting to doctors, getting to work. Uh, it's something that can join the committee. So I, I'm very much involved with that. I've been involved very much with the uh, Monadnock Regional Transportation Commission, which has uh, done a lot of with alternative uh, transportation. And, and I've been sending information about grants uh, to our grants officers and other people about that. Uh, I hope to work with Monadnock by local to get a local currency. I think that would help with economic development and sustainable development. Uh, I would think that uh, what we need to do is uh, um, 
get approval for broadband uh, in order to improve economic development.